Hi everyone, Mark Tewksbury here for Queer Queries, the questions sometimes even gay people don't know the answers to. This episode's query, what was the first dot dot dot? So I'm going to curate a whole bunch of historical firsts in a bunch of different segments coming up. I'm going to do them in bite-sized chunks because there's a lot of information to remember, but I'm struck by, you know, we remember our own firsts, right? I remember the first time I had butterflies in my stomach when my knee touched another guy. I remember my first kiss, both to a girl and to a boy. I remember the first person that I came out to. All sorts of firsts from my own life, but what about history? So I'm going to throw a bunch of first questions at you. What was the first known LGBTQ periodical in North America? Well, it was called Les Moules Fantastiques, and it came out of Montreal. I'm very proud of that. You won't believe the year, 1918. It was created by Alyssa Gidlow and Roswell George Mills. I've always been interested also in who is the world's first openly gay politician. And if I've got this wrong, please, if you're watching from somewhere and you can go further back, let me know. But I think it might be 1937, a Dutch gay member of the House of Representatives in Holland named Hein Vos. So that's what I think as far as it goes back. But if there's something further, let me know. What about the first gay um, drama or series on television? Well, that happened in 1959. It was called South and it was the earliest known gay TV drama broadcast in the United Kingdom. So way to go, United Kingdom. Uh, 1961, we know that Harvey Milk was the first openly gay representative in California elected. He was the seventh in the United States, but the first actual person to run as an openly gay person for office, didn't get it, but it was Jose Seria, uh, also in San Francisco, writing as a, running as a city councilor supervisor. That was an interesting tidbit, I thought. So between 1961, it would take over a decade for Harvey Milk to get elected as the first openly gay official in California. And I'm going to leave with a little bit of Canadian trivia because the first openly gay mayor of a major city anywhere in the world was a Canadian. It was Glenn Murray. I remember that well, and I got to know Glenn over the years. He was the mayor of Winnipeg. He would go on to, to become a politician in Ontario and also federally. So he's been a really busy man. But his political career really made history in 1998 as the first openly gay mayor anywhere in the world. So those are some of the firsts. If you want to share a first in your life, love to hear you know, people's history and, and some of your experiences. Like or comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the Mark Tewksbury channel.